Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Saliha Binti Zainal Abidin. I'm from AS2015. First of all, I want to thank my supervisor, Madam Lily Wiryanis Pentinawi, for her guidance in completing my thesis. So today, I would like to share my thesis with the title Morphological Studies on Selected Species of Moraise Family. For the introduction, the Moraise family is the order of rules which consists of about 45 general and around 1,500 species which are shrub and even green dispersed mainly in subtropical and tropical regions. The plant of the Moraise family comprise of a milky latex and have alternate leaf with small petalous male or female flowers. Beside that, some species of the Moraise family produce edible fruit such as fig, mulberry, and jackfruit. However, there was a lack of information about Moraise family in identification and classification in taxonomy. Only a few study was done and it was incomplete to construct cluster analysis based on the current information. Since the plant undergoes evolutionary and adaptation to environmental changes, the characteristic of the Moraise family had changed in order to survive. Thus, the purpose of this study was to investigate the feature characteristic of the selected species from the Moraise family by measuring the area, by measuring the leaf area using image processing technique, and to determine the taxonomic spread of the Moraise family by constructing the cluster analysis. The taxonomic characteristics of the selected species were analyzed to determine how these uh, species are related to each other. In this study, 10 different species from Moraise family which were Ficus arigurata, Ficus carica, Ficus deltoida, Morus alba, Morus rubra, Morus macroeura, Himalaya, Morus macroeura, Taiwan, Atrocarpus altilis, Atrocarpus heterophilus, and Atrocarpus integer were used. Three different plants of the same selected species were used as a replicated samples. It was about a 90 leaf were collected from 10 species in this study. The morphological observation was performed to observe the plant, leaf, flower, and fruit of each species specifically. Then the observation was recorded as a result. Next, the image processing technique was performed. Five geometric features including diameter, length, width, area, and perimeter of the leaf were automatically measured using image J software. This technique was used to determine uh, leaf type according to the morphological characteristic. Then, by uh, using the quantitative and qualitative measurement parameter obtained from the previous method, uh, the cluster analysis was uh, carried out by using the IBM SPSS software. The relationship of each species was constructed using the between group linkage with internal square Euclidean distance. The Euclidean test was performed by placing the identified plant into several different groups and similar plants were placed in the same group based on the set of the measured variable. The dendrogram was produced after the test which were illustrating the relationship among the species. The dendrogram was obtained by classifying each species based on the observation of its unique characteristic and based on the quantitative and qualitative measurement parameter recorded before. The Moraise family was classified based on the presence of milky latex. The three genus which were Ficus, Morus, and Atrocarpus were classified based on their inflorescence. For genus Ficus, the fig were inflorescence with several flowers entirely surrounded within a soft receptacle. In comparison, genus Morus and genus Atrocarpus were classified based on their inflorescence where flowers were inserted on a discoid receptacle. Genus Morus was differentiated to Genus Atrocarpus in the term of their material of its flowers. 
The male flower of genus Morus consists of a stamen that was inflated in flower buds, while in genus Atrocarpus, the stamen was straight in flower bud. Three selected species from genus Ficus were classified based on two subgenera, which were Ficus subgenus Psychomorus and Ficus subgenus Ficus. Ficus auriculata was classified under Ficus subgenus Psychomorus, while Ficus carica and Ficus deltoidal were classified under Ficus subgenus Ficus. Ficus auriculata was classified under Ficus subgenus Psychomorus as the fig were on the specialized leaflet branches. In contrast, Ficus carica and Ficus deltoidal were classified under Ficus subgenus Ficus as the fig were auxiliary on regular leaf branches. Furthermore, Ficus carica is differentiated from Ficus deltoidal based on the leaf plate. The leaf plate of Ficus carica consists of lobe with 3 to 5 lobes, while the leaf plate of Ficus deltoidal have no lobe with ethoid shape. Nets, Morus alba and Morus rubra were differentiated based on the infratensis as their infratensis were shorter than 2.5 cm, while in Morus macroura was longer than 2.5 cm. Morus alba and Morus rubra were determined based on the syncop. Morus alba produced a white syncop with 1 to 2.5 cm long. Why Morus rubra produce a red blackish purple syncop with 2 to 3 cm long. Morus macro yura Himalayan produce a white and long syncop with 6 to 12 cm long. Why Morus macro yura Taiwan produce red blackish purple and long syncop with 6 to 12 cm long. Next, Atrocarpus altilis was differentiated based on the branch lips, mostly pubescent with peanut lobed leaf on a matured tree. In comparison, Atrocarpus heterophilus and Atrocarpus integer have a branchlet cropless with the entire leaf on a matured tree. The differences between Atrocarpus heterophilus and Atrocarpus integer was in the fruiting syncarp, as the fruiting syncarp of Atrocarpus heterophilus is more significant in size than Atrocarpus integer. The fruiting syncarp of Atrocarpus heterophilus is around 25 to 50 cm in diameter, while the fruiting syncop of Atrocarpus integer is around 10 to 15 cm in diameter. For the recommendation, further study need to be made to discover the new species in the future. There should always be an improvement in the classification method. The time for study needs to be extended so that the researcher can obtain more information and knowledge because some classification cannot be done due to the lack of information. This study should be continuous time by time so that the data of Moraisi family can be continuously updated with the evolutionary and adaptation to the environmental change. Hopefully, this study able to provide information that benefit to all people. Last but not least, the objective of this study were achieved successfully after results obtained. That is all from me. Thank you.